Shouldn't we be teaching our young kids about Hamas and the good work they do? I think so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've made it into this very simple, you know, thing. Hamas are terror is, is a terrorist group, so we shouldn't have anything to deal do with them. They have done a lot of um, uh, a lot of good. So that was Julia Ganson, a speaker at an event called Palestine Behind the Wall, hosted by a group called the Syracuse Peace Council. Justine Brooke, one of my correspondents over at Campus Reform, infiltrated the event asked the speaker some questions and caught them saying some pretty zany things. So we've already learned that Hamas, designated a terrorist organization by the US, has apparently done a lot of good. Let's see what Abigail Carmelli, another speaker there, had to say. Since being a Zionist is a form of violence, are we justified in using violence against people who identify as Zionists, even if they may not be committing violence at that moment? Um, and that is a tough question. That's a weird question. Um, okay, that is like the definition of a softball question. I don't care what their ideology is, if someone's not committing violence, you have no right to attack them. Uh, I mean, I think Zionist is a racist ideology. And so, um, I am not a violent person and I don't really condone violence, but I think that fighting a racist ideology and sometimes with violence might be the answer for some. Again, no. Violence cannot be used to retaliate against whatever you perceive as a racist ideology. Now here's the thing, I don't think this Syracuse Peace Council event happened on campus, but two majors at Syracuse University, a citizenship one and then a writing one, offer credit to students who intern for the council. I'll let Julia do us the honors of showing us how smart the council's affiliates are. I'm actually trying to start a boycott of SMS text messaging um, because it was developed in Israel um, and Zionists use texting to plan attacks against Palestinians. Um, sometimes I feel guilty about text messaging. Um, so would, would you sign the petition against text messaging? Um, yeah, it, it's... Um, I mean, I would you know, look at the wording exactly, and I'm not that tech-savvy myself, but um, yeah, I probably would. <laughs> First of all, I don't think Israel had anything to do with the invention of SMS texting. But second of all, doesn't this just epitomize the pro-BDS and general leftist attitude towards goods and services? It doesn't matter how ubiquitous something is, if Israelis built it, benefit from it, etc., it's a no-go. I wouldn't be surprised if pro-Palestinians start boycotting air next week because Israelis also breathe it, don't you know? So like I mentioned before, Syracuse students can get credit for two of their majors by interning for this group. And none of this is really shocking from the school that splurged $5 million on a social justice center and suspended 16 frat students after seeing video from a vulgar but satirical skit. Guess that's what you get for going to school in New York. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.